New tonight, it's the time of year when models hit the runways for New York's Fashion Week, but some of the models look different today than they did years in years past. CBS 2's Matt Kozar reports from Midtown. The world of high fashion has long been dominated by an exclusive club of tall, thin models. But a new group of women are catwalking past celebrities and fashionista elite at shows like this one inside Grand Central Terminal. Clearly, I'm not as tall as the other girls, but it just makes me special. Leslie People suffered a spinal cord injury two years ago. This was her first fashion show. I am the role model of so many other girls who have disabilities to let them know that you can be whatever you want to be, no matter, you know, paralyzed or not. The models with disabilities say their very presence at this show is a reflection of how American society is changing. All the individual fingers move. So I can grasp, you know, just specific things. Rebecca Marine from New Jersey was born without a right forearm. It's gotten easier over the years. When I first started this about four or five years ago, um, it was just no, no, no. But that's changing, says Meg O'Connell with Global Disability Inclusion, a consulting company. People want to see people that look like them in advertising and marketing campaigns, and just like all other diverse groups, that should include people with disabilities. People like Madeline Stewart, an 18 year old with Down syndrome, who stole the show. She wore designer Hendrick Vermillion's clothes. There's different types of beauty, and uh, doesn't matter uh, from which side you look, you're always going to find something beautiful. Beautiful in every shape and form. In Midtown, Matt Kozar, CBS 2 News.